Okay, so this is going to be my first travel video. And when I'm telling you guys, this is something I feel like we should all focus on and try to do is to do solo travel this year. When I'm telling you guys, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really, I'm really, really nervous to actually travel to Europe by myself. I've traveled to Germany many times, I've traveled to London many times, but you know, I've always had friends that I would meet there when I got there, or they traveled with me actually. Now, see this trip, it wasn't supposed to be just me, myself, and I, but the person I was gonna go with, they had other plans, so they couldn't go with, sadly. But you know, I'm not docking them because they had to do some actual stuff. But what I'm telling you guys, this is gonna be the biggest thing. I'm gonna show you guys what it means to travel by yourself, self-love, and what you can do when you travel by yourself. So I'm gonna try to incorporate a lot of different things. So where am I going? I'm going to Belgium, and I'm currently in Dallas right now. I'm flying from DFW Airport to Madrid, Spain first, and then I'm gonna be flying to Brussels, Belgium. And you know, I'm gonna try to fight, you know, me being scared to like actually hold the camera out and stuff in public. But you know, I gotta remember to focus on me, myself, and I. So with that being said, y'all, let's get into the video. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I'm still pretty lost. Hope I'm still pretty lost. Let's hope that I get to where I'm trying to go. I still got like four hours to see this whole airport and to figure out like if I'm in the right place. I'm telling y'all, this is probably one of those things on when it comes to, you know, solo traveling. You get lost, you gotta ask a lot of questions and you might not know like, you know, the language, but you gotta make the best of it and you really gotta just talk to people and literally figure out where you're going. You know, go to the information desk. You know, a lot of times I speak a lot of different languages like Deutsch, like Japanese, Chinese, Korea. It's just be brave and just have confidence that you know that you know where you're going. Because let's be real, I don't know where I'm going. I'm just here for this ride and hopefully I get where I'm trying to go. So let's let's do it. Let's hit this A game. Okay, so I had to go through airport security again, and they moved my back to the side again because I have all my camera gear with me on my back, as you guys can see. And you know, I already knew the protocol, and it's like a big testament onto it. Whenever you go through things and experience things, you already know what to do. Like, I might not speak Espanol, Inglés only, but like, I definitely understood where I was going and what I had to do, just because I got stopped again. Hopefully, let's hope that this is the right, this is the right, um, terminal and gates and everything because I went to the wrong gate the first time but besides that let's hope for it Y'all know I got here at, y'all know I got here at 8.40 a.m. into Spain. Okay, so I think it's very important. I think it's very, very important whenever you go to another country that you at least try to like, you know, speak their language a little bit. You know, just a little, a few phrases like, you know, hola, hello. I feel like that's what you guys should, anyone should try to do whenever they travel to like, you know, challenge yourself. And remember folks, we're talking about challenging ourselves in 2019. And the number one thing I'm doing right now with challenging myself is challenging myself when it comes to solo travel like right now i'm sitting at the airport i have my camera all set up i got my laptop right here and i'm working on some videos i'm trying to drop the footage off the laptop i mean off of my um uh cell phone right now and you know it's really it's really challenging it's really challenging because it's really hard to i feel like get out there with your camera and everything you know when everyone's curious to like see what like you're doing and everything but we're gonna see what happens folks We'll see where uh, this tour leads me. So the next thing that's gonna happen is I'm going to be um, looking for my Airbnb when I get to Brussels, Belgium. Um, so my Airbnb host told me, he was like, take the train when you get to, you know, arrivals, when you get um, at arrivals, take the train 
and take it to some, I forgot the stop, and then just take a taxi from there and it'll be a six, seven minute taxi ride, 10 minute taxi ride, and it's about seven euros. So we're gonna take his advice. Hopefully I get there on time at 7.45 p.m. or else the Airbnb host is going to charge me extra money. So, you know, obviously I'll be doing a full room tour of the Airbnb. And with that being said, y'all, challenge yourselves in 2019. The biggest thing I am telling you guys, this is really hard for me right now, but hey, I'll have something to look back on. I'll have this video to look back on. And I'm hoping you guys really love the cinematic and this travel day, because today is just a travel day. It's not even just like the vlog vlog just yet of like Belgium and seeing the country and then seeing Brussels and hopefully going to another city in Belgium. And if you guys can, um, you know, tell me what you guys think about the sounds, like let me know what you guys think about the sound, okay? Okay, so I was saying, I got here at 8.40 a.m. in the morning. My flight did not leave, it does not leave until 3.40 p.m. So that's why it wasn't popping up. So that's what really ultimately got me lost. And you know, I had to go through security twice. I started to understand like what they wanted me to do. Cause you know, with my camera gear and everything, they stopped me and I had to go through the special, I had to go through another small thing area, not a small room, isolated, but right over. And they checked my stuff again. I was like, dang, second time again in like 10 minutes, I'm going through security again. That being said, that's all I got. I just woke up from a nap. Like, I'm telling you, I went to um, this restaurant and I was just standing in line. And I was just, I'm not gonna lie, like I was tired. I was tired and hungry. So I ordered just a sandwich, no, a croissant. It was an almond croissant, it was really sweet. And then I ordered a Fanta orange. And y'all know I love their Fantas here overseas. But that nap was like a three hour nap in there. So I just put my head down and passed out. And you know, I'm about to catch this flight to Belgium. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so made it to Brussels, the airport. Hopefully I take the right train and I make it to my Airbnb on time, but I guess We'll find out. There's a train. I gotta catch it. I'm wondering if this is the right one. Okay, so I found the right plane, or the right train, my bad. I found the right train. I don't know how I did, but just taking your time, looking at the maps, looking at what they have here, and not just jumping on the first train that you see, because the first train that was here, it was actually a totally different train. It would have took me the wrong place. It is 6.54 and I have to get back to, or get to the Airbnb by 7.45. So says that this is gonna take about like 30 minute train ride or 40 minute trip. So let's hope I get there in that time. You see, one of the things that I wish people really understood is that like being alone is not that easy. Being alone is rewarding though too, when you are yourself. Okay, so this is the room tour of my first Airbnb. This is nice. Like, I got greeted with a Belgian waffle. I can't wait to try them actually tomorrow at the Grand Place. And, you know, I had a towel right here. I'm telling you guys right now that wallet did not come included. That is my wallet. That's the window. A couple lamps. Okay, so today's travel was from Dallas, DFW Airport, to Madrid, Spain, and then to Brussels, Belgium. And this was a journey because this is the first time I've ever traveled by myself. I mean, I'm talking about like solo travels where I don't meet up with no friends. I met some cool people on the airplane and everything that are from Texas Tech or from Austin area, but go to Tech. They were cool, you know, we might meet up in Spain or even just in Belgium. But this is the first time I've really done solo travel. I'm staying in this room by myself. I booked it got the uber here got the train here like i'm doing all these little things and you know i'm going to talk about that on my travel on the other videos about belgium about how you need to be more you know brave and bold and daring to do these things in life because if you don't do them they're going to pass you by and you're going to regret them or at least i know i would regret them so that being said i hope you guys like today's travel video from basically just traveling airports and me giving a little bit of knowledge on what i'm experiencing right now because like i've been saying it's not that easy, at least it's not for me. Like it really is a challenge trying to take this camera out and vlog and just, you know, trust me, I'm happy with just, it's hard folks. Have a good night everyone, smile, wherever you are in this world, just make sure that you know that you're loved.